Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import a panel data file uh, and in the Power BI and do some uh, make a dashboard to compare statistics and data sets in the Power BI dashboard. So we'll start with this data file. I have country variable and a year variable and some variables. Uh, it means it's a panel data file. It's arranged in a way that when one when the data of first country is, uh, is being shown its name is repeated and when the second country is starting its name is repeated and starting year and ending year and if the data is not there it is empty so this way i can the we can form our panel data so i will save this file and go into power bi and i will open a new report and i will import data from excel and this is my data so when I double click the Excel file, it will read the data file and it will show me the data file. So when I click it, it will show me the data variables and when I load it, so it will import the data. Okay, so this way, uh, first of all, it will uh, read the data file and import it as a data window. It will show here. So all the data set has been loaded. So first of all, we'll, we'll do some, uh, we'll make a uh, text box and I will make it bigger and write a name as dashboard for data visualization. Okay. You can highlight it and change the font size wherever you the way you want using the properties okay so i can just right click uh, i can highlight it and just increase the font size to 20 make it bold and underline now press enter so first of all let's start with the the graph so we will go in home and open on the text box so this is done so i'll click it on outside so these are my variables i will start with uh, scatter plot because i need to compare two variables so i will click the scatterplot. scatter plot i will arrange it in a way the way i want it and then i will select two variables let's say this is my globalization variable i will add it as a x-axis variable it is showing as sum of q variable i don't need sum i need don't summarize okay and then i have a variable uh, financial development somewhere here so let me have a look we'll make it bigger so this is financial development index i will select it and add it as a y-axis variable okay so it is also seeing some so you will just remove it and say don't summarize so that you have the data so you can see this scatter plot now you can add an C. You can add more graphs by clicking outside and I need a line chart. So I will select a line chart and show it here. I will for the line chart I will select uh, years as an x-axis variable and same uh, financial development as y-axis variable and I will change it to since um, I might have to uh, show it country wise I will say it as average okay uh, so that when I show it for all the countries so now here some filter has been applied so what I will do I will have a look so when the line chart is here you can just click any value the click it so it will filter that here for in this scatter plot uh, or if you click any dot uh, if you don't click any point and click uh, click the dot here it will flicker because the data is big and it will sometimes take time to adjust so if data is small, it will it will be loaded quickly. So what I will do first of all, uh, this is the graph that has been made. 
now come, we should come back uh, to zoom it out click it outside so that it is static now if you click it inside it will update constant, uh, constantly now what i will do so i have a, a line chart for this variable i will add another line chart for the other variable so i will move it here So I made a box, make it small enough, move it here. I will select the other variables on x-axis and the here variable on the y-axis. So this is like this. Uh, so it's a sum of here. So what has happened is I have to move it out of the way now. So I need here as an x-axis and this as a close it up and this as a y-axis. So this is another data. So this is average, so I need to also make sure that this is also average. Now I, I can also add uh, this box as a slicer, and you can move it here, and and I will add the country name as a slicer within this slicer, so that it can filter countries. And in, in the slicer setting, I will make sure it is drop down menu, and I will come back now. You can make it smaller. And move this on the top. So now, what you can do is let me move it here. You can just select the country. Let's say I would want to work on Algeria. So, when you click it, it will show the second plot for Algeria and the line chart for the Algeria for the financial development variable, which is on the y axis here, and the uh, graph here. So, this way uh, you can uh, visualize uh, the data or other way around if you want to make it more interactive you can add more features here so i hope you understood uh, how to make a dashboard uh, for a panel data okay if you don't want to select this deselect the country and it will select as all and it will show you the panel data okay when you click any dot here it will show you that dot uh, value for that country here so this way you can make all the graphs okay so i hope this is understandable for you and do do comment and share your views on this video and do share it to your colleagues thank you